I think that I would totally be insane if I didn't have ceramics as, as something I could go to. Because it is like going into the studio and just kind of unloading. I mean, I just happen to do these kind of literal images that kind of carry me through. And, and that's kind of my thing about how to control probably my, uh, my life. I made some molds uh, of this cat and I uh, used bandages, you know, plastic bandages, so I could make them really light. I was telling Lauren about it, she says, we can use epoxy resin to back the molds up. I have absolutely no compunction about gluing things together. Glue is a material. There's a lot of logistical struggle that happens, especially when you're starting out in sculpture and you leave a school that has all these amazing tools. So then you have to start looking around at the people you graduated with. You have to look around at people who are doing what you want and what can you give them, what can you trade them if you don't have any money for access to the things that you need. I came from a pottery background and I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud that I'm in ceramics. So I kind of like to emphasize what kind of material I'm using. I feel like it's important that the viewer sees that it was made of ceramics, so I'm in some area maybe it might be all matte and, and just underglaze, but then what I want to do is I'll introduce, say, some shiny area to show that this is a glazed surface and it can't be anything but clay. Ceramics is pretty demanding. It has to be kind of a little bit, you know, weird to be in ceramics. And one of the reasons I say that is because you kind of have to you know, get through all the techniques and firing and, and learn all those things in order to come up with something you feel kind of confident about. Thank you.